Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Now, Tevin Campbell posted on Twitter, Can We Talk is a song about stalking, but it works every time. And everybody's mind was blown when he tweeted that. And, you know, there's a lot of times we listen to music and we don't realize what the lyrics are really about. Here's how Can We Talk starts. So I love it's it. all about a, a woman he doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything is about context, right? Because that song sounded perfectly normal to me until he, he put that tweet out. And and now when I hear it, I imagine him walking down the street, following the girl, asking her, asking her over and over, can we talk? Can we talk just for a minute? I just want to know your name, girl. It's like, damn, bro, leave her alone. But you know Jesus what? I think Christ. I feel like back then that was like uh, romantic, I think, like. Even like Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line when I like it. That was romantic trying to catch a girl when I and call really my get baby's a girl. number. <laughs> get a, get a, get a, get a <laughs> quick every time. Like, yeah, because you keep calling over and over. And <laughs> you don't want to talk to you. All right. See, I don't, was romance him back following, I don't picture him following her down the block because I, I feel like he was too shy to say anything. So I, mean, I listen, just feel like is, he's hoping to run across her again. And the hook is can we talk? Can we talk? Just for a minute. I want to know. Girl, I just want to know your name. It's like he had to be somewhere in her vicinity. You keep asking her that over and over. I'm just happy that in 2020, that's considered what it should be funny in a conversation. Because a couple of years ago, it would have been all these think pieces with no thought about why Tevin Campbell joking about stalking is problematic. But but you know what? I ain't gonna front. I was Tevin Campbell. I was. If I tell you how many times oh I gosh. wrote letters to my wife, we all and was were. pretty yes. stalking my wife, but. We, that's we what I were. did. It worked though. That's what it we worked. did. You know, because they used to they used to be about persistence. You know what You're I'm right. saying? You call her a million times. You send her a bunch of letters. Yes, right. that's what that's what men used to do when we was young. Absolutely, it is. Yeah, the, is the thinking used to be persistence overcomes resistance. And guess yeah. what, envy? Right. It worked. It sure did. You know what I'm saying? We both wore women women down. All right. <laughs> they had better choices, but we wore them down. All right, now let's talk about. Happily married Regine, now. Let's talk about Regine and wife and Lucci. Now, when Regine was on The Breakfast Club, she talked about her breakup with wife and Lucci. I mean, honestly, I was, I was in love with Ray. I mean, I feel like I'm still kind of in love with him, but I love him from a distance now. You know, it's like it's to the point where I love myself more. So it's like I will never disrespect him as to, like, dating another rapper or, or bashing him because we've had we had a we have a bond. We had a bond that was very strong and at one point it was healthy it was cool i was happy so she said they're still cool and everything but wife and lucci just recently did an interview with i am fly guy dc and here's what he had to say about uh him and regine just i guess her not understanding what he did as an artist and not wanting to change hey bro i'm me bro like like if you ain't gonna like me i can't i ain't trying to change to make you there I am, bro. Now, do you do you feel like the age difference played a role in that? Probably so. Hell yeah, yeah, it do. So, considering that who her who her pops was, um, do you think that there was a different level of responsibility that you should have been portraying? Hell no, nah, what he do? I'm judge him. I just, I just don't understand why Regina don't understand that YFN stands for Young Faithful. Oh boy, gosh. Hiller. There's a young, faith, there's a young faithful Negro within them, within him. He's a young. What will YFN stand for now? Young fly Negro. Yeah. One day that F will stand for faithful. Trust me. Give that man One some day. time. <laughs> he said. All right, now spectacular. Congratulations to him. They just did an op-ed, and he has been honored Innovator of the Year, uh, also by Black Enterprise, and his company is actually in a uh, top 10 business. So congratulations to him. He's doing a masterclass too, by the way. If you look on his page, you can see a link so that you can actually join that masterclass that he's doing. But he's the innovator of the year. And he said, the internet revolution and the new social media era have forever changed the way companies vocalize who they are. Visual identities have evolved to reflect the current generation of consumers. 
It's become crucial for businesses to understand their audiences as they are the most important aspect of social media marketing success. So his company, AdWizar, helps personality brands and companies go viral while turning followers into revenue, increasing their net worth. And he's been extremely successful at that. So drop all the clues, bro. I'm sorry. I'm spectacular. Mm-hmm. That's my guy. Spectacular Spe- 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 is a good dude. Like he, he's, he, and he always likes to share information. Like he would, he would just randomly hit you up and be like, Hey, you know about this? Like he's a, I like Spectac. He's mentored thousands of small business owners while in quarantine. And he's still doing that. He's giving out his personal number. If you text masterclass to 786-661-1224, you can get your complimentary spot also. And the, okay. and the thing right, he I'm- came up effing with cats. Cause that, 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 remember those cat memes? What was it, Freddy Cat? Some type of cat meme that used to be very popular. That was all spectacular. Mm. He came up messing with cats. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. 